Hi, welcome to our channel where we talk about all things related to anesthesia and intensive care. Today we are going to talk about one specific type of anesthesia that has been in use for many years, inhalation anesthesia. Inhalation anesthesia is a type of anesthesia that is administered by breathing in gases or vapors, rather than by injection. In this video, we will discuss the benefits of inhalation anesthesia for certain procedures. So, let's get started. Inhalation anesthesia is often used for surgical procedures, especially those that are longer in duration or require a deeper level of anesthesia. This is because inhalation anesthesia can be more easily adjusted and maintained, and it is also reversible. Unlike other types of anesthesia, such as spinal or epidural anesthesia, inhalation anesthesia can be used for procedures that require the patient to be completely still and not move, such as during abdominal or chest surgery. Inhalation anesthesia also has the advantage of being able to provide quick and efficient anesthesia induction, which means the patient can be put to sleep within a matter of seconds. This can be particularly useful in emergency situations where time is of the essence. Inhalation anesthesia can also be used for patients with certain medical conditions, such as those with heart or lung disease, as it can be adjusted to maintain a stable heart rate and blood pressure. In addition, inhalation anesthesia can also be used for children undergoing surgical procedures, as it can be easily adjusted to their smaller size. Another benefit of inhalation anesthesia is that it can be safely used in patients with allergies or adverse reactions to other types of anesthesia. Inhalation anesthesia does not contain any allergenic components, which makes it an ideal choice for patients who are at risk of an allergic reaction. One more advantage of inhalation anesthesia is that it has fewer side effects compared to other types of anesthesia. Some of the side effects of other types of anesthesia, such as spinal or epidural anesthesia, can include headaches or nerve damage. Inhalation anesthesia, on the other hand, typically only has mild side effects such as nausea, dizziness, or a sore throat. In conclusion, inhalation anesthesia has numerous benefits that make it an ideal choice for certain types of surgical procedures, patients with certain medical conditions, and those who are at risk of an allergic reaction. It can be quickly and easily adjusted, is reversible, and has fewer side effects compared to other types of anesthesia. That's it for today's video. We hope you found this informative and useful. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for more videos related to anesthesia and intensive care. Thanks for watching.